Okay guys, you might recall if you subscribed to our YouTube channel for a while that we had Frank Moisio at IFA Berlin talking about the DLP technologies and how projectors are eventually going to be making it every single mobile device we know and love in the near future. And now, he has some exciting new technologies and announcements. We're live on the ground here at CS 2013. What do you have for us, Frank? We have several things that are really cool here today. Let me take you through them. Uh, the first one is this Kodak product. It's basically a cell phone accessory product and it's talking to this uh, Android phone right here. And so this is wirelessly streaming through Wi-Fi to this device. A great companion for taking, taking with you on your cell phones if you want to do business presentations, if you want to play games, you want to have sharing experiences. Great little product. We expect it'll be on sale for under $199. Moving over here, this is a, uh, a product from Smart Devices. Um, it's, a, it's basically about a seven inch tablet, but it has Pico projection inside of it. Very cool, the first one, first, first one, first tablet in the world. And uh, we're, we're, what we're showing here is just simply Angry Birds. How cool is that? Rather than watching it on a seven inch screen, being able to project it to something 30, 40 inches in size. Uh, so whether, again, whether you want to play games, whether you want to share uh, experiences with your uh, consumer related experiences, or whether you want to do business presentations, this is a great application of Pico technology, the first tablet in the world with Pico technology. And then right here is another, we've shown you of course, the great Galaxy Beam, which is the personal phone that I carry. And, uh, this is a new phone from a company called Q&O. You can see that the image is very, very bright. And uh, this is basically Android running the latest Android uh, ice cream sandwich. And it's also, uh, it's also uh, giving you uh, probably about 30 lumens in brightness on the output. Uh, so this is uh, shipping in Japan uh, shortly. Uh, excuse me, shipping in China shortly. And, uh, and so uh, we're going to continue to see Pico technology roll out in all of these small types of devices, all these mobile devices in the world. I think we have, let me put that back on here. It's rather large battery in that as well, right? Eh? Um, I don't have the specifics on the size of the battery in it. You had a chance to spend some time with it? Do you find a company? No, we just we just got this this evening, so uh, so yeah, a lot of these are, a lot of these are, are are brand new to us. Yeah. Well, you mentioned that you had a more advanced uh, resolution that was coming uh, with a DLP. Um, yes. Yeah, so um, so we'll put this down. We'll grab that again here in a moment. Um, but there's a. Uh, yeah, there's a new announcement, and uh, it's uh, basically a new pixel called TRP or Tilt and Roll Pixel. Tilt and Roll Pixel. Tilt and Roll Pixel. So, uh, what it does is it it creates more efficiency. It packs about about twice as many pixels in the same space. So, uh, in the future, we're going to see brighter Pico projectors. We're going to see them with higher resolution and with lower power consumption. Excellent. And so, it just extends the value of of getting to a big picture from one of these very small devices. We're all constrained by the screen size. This allows us to get our digital content, unleash the power of, right. of getting that digital content anywhere, anytime. And so we're really excited about that. We're working with companies right now to get those products into production. And so uh, expect to see them over time in the marketplace. So if you say we're looking at 50% more pixels, ideally 50% more brightness in terms of lumens, more battery efficiency. What's the resolution of the projector on this one right now? Is uh, this one? This one is uh, is uh, NHD, so it's, NHD, it's yeah. 640 by 360. That's right. Um, this one, for example, is 854 by 480. That's 854 by 480? Uh, yes. So there's, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, this one is uh, 6, 640 by 480. Okay, so um, 4 by 3. Five. Right, and then there, but there are the, uh, the uh, Kodak product is 854 by 480. And this is 854 by 480. Are you controlling this, uh, this being controlled uh, over what interface? Is this Bluetooth or Wi Fi? Or? It's Wi Fi. So it communicates through Wi Fi from the smartphone. You to the projector. Yes. Very impressive. And the yes. built-in battery as well. Yes, correct. And are there any physical correct. and HDMI inputs? 
What yes. is the resolution? This looks to be quite a sharp picture, it's actually. It's A54 by 480, so it's DVD, DVD quality. So, uh, realistically, the tilt and roll projection technology they're referring to, when can we expect to see it? Uh, at least a, a demonstration or a sample of it. What do you think is realistic? Well, we're, we're actually showing private demos of it here okay. at the show, but, uh, but we'll probably see it come out you know, we're working with manufacturers now, and then we'll, we'll see them roll out products over time. So are, are so. a lot of the analysts, like Gardner and others, are they correct? Are, are, is it realistic that we're going to see micro-projectors in our tablets, in our smartphones, in our laptops, and things of that nature? You know, you can look at a lot of different analysts around, and there's all these different forecasts in the yes. millions of units. You know, I believe that uh, there's, I believe the market will be, in 2013, I believe it'll be about 5 million units. Okay. Uh, 4 to 5 million units in that, in that uh, range there. And we expect it to continue to grow yes. because the value proposition is so compelling. It is. If you've used one of these phones, and I carry one of these as my personal phone, yeah. it is really comes in handy when you're doing, when you're trying to share experiences, whether it's just a photo, a video, or whether it's uh, a presentation. Uh, there's just so many different applications that you start to become aware of when you finally use the product. Truly. So yeah, the, getting to much bigger pictures. Getting uh, getting away from the constraints of the screen, that's gonna that's gonna happen, and so we're really excited to be a part of it. Yeah, and we're excited to follow you, you know. And <laughs> I'm really really happy to hear that you guys have figured out a way to pack more pixels into a smaller profile, save more power. We're happy to we're happy to hear it too. Are we going to get a, a demonstration of this at our meeting, uh, or do we need to? Do we have a meeting scheduled for Thursday. Um, uh, Is it likely? We'll, we'll, we'll see what, what's possible. Okay. Well, I'm really excited uh, about, obviously you guys, like you said, can you imagine going to grandma's house and you want to show pictures on a 5-inch or 4-inch screen versus being able to project a 40-inch or 50-inch image onto the wall? What's preferable? It's only a matter of time and it, it's going to be a game-changing thing. You know, our kids from now, they're going to have projectors and infrared and all sorts of futuristic interfaces. So TI DLP is a, is a leader in the space. And so I wanted to thank Frank for his time. Thank sure, you very Darcy. much for shedding some light. Thank you so much. We appreciate, appreciate it. We'll be following you guys back, closely. Yeah. Yeah, Thanks. Man. Thanks very Thanks. much. All right, take care. Sandra Thordy from uh, CS, Pepcom. Thanks very much, everybody.